Have you ever enjoyed the funny moments on the George Burns and Gracie Allen show? Whether you discovered it recently or way back, this classic TV series is known for its timeless humor. The banter and antics of the duo can still make you laugh. But did you know there are interesting, surprising, and even emotional facts about the show? We're about to share some stories that might catch you off guard. Whether you have memories from when you first watched or have a special connection to the show, there's something for everyone. Speaking of memories, we'd love to hear about your favorite moments or personal experiences with this TV gem. Share your stories in the comments below and let's celebrate the charm of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show together. So, are you ready for a journey through laughter, surprises, and maybe a touch of nostalgia? Keep watching and let the reminiscing begin. The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show, a classic TV series from the 1950s, started with a big impact and became a memorable part of American comedy. The show follows the real-life married couple George Burns and Gracie Allen as they play fictionalized versions of themselves in their suburban home, sharing humorous moments from their daily lives. George, the witty and suave straight man, often gets caught up in Gracie's whimsical and funny schemes. Gracie, the endearing and naive character, unintentionally creates chaos with her misinterpretations of simple situations. The duo's dynamic brings laughter, with George's dry humor complementing Gracie's charming innocence. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show kept audiences entertained with its simple yet effective comedic approach. The humor, timeless and versatile, appealed to a wide range of viewers. The show didn't rely on complicated storylines, but instead focused on the enduring charm of its central characters. In the television world, the series achieved significant success, earning praise for its impact on the sitcom genre. The chemistry between George and Gracie made them a beloved TV duo. The show's success extended beyond its initial run, showcasing the lasting appeal of well-crafted humor. Throughout its broadcast, the series received awards recognizing its significant influence on entertainment. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show became a beloved part of American television, leaving a memorable legacy that still brings joy and nostalgia to audiences today. As we journey through the laughter-filled world of this classic show, let's celebrate the endearing characters, the timeless humor, and the impact it had on television comedy. Share your favorite moments and stories and let the charm of this classic series continue to bring joy and nostalgia. In Season 1, Episode 15 of this classic sitcom, a surprising twist unfolded when Jack Benny stepped onto the set as a guest star. While many associate George Burns with breaking the fourth wall, it was Benny who seized the opportunity, playfully shattering the barrier between the audience and the show. This unexpected deviation added a unique flavor to the episode, showcasing a different dynamic within the familiar comedic setting. When Fred Clark assumed the role of Harry Morton, the character took on a distinctive trait and insatiable appetite. Clark's portrayal brought a comedic twist as Harry was constantly indulging in food, discussing it animatedly, and even resorting to hiding snacks in peculiar places to outsmart his wife. This quirky element injected a new layer of humor into the series, further diversifying the character dynamics. Gracie Allen, often seen rolling cigarettes on screen, presented a paradox. Despite her on-screen persona, she was, in reality, a non-smoker. This subtle inconsistency added an interesting dimension to her character, emphasizing the distinction between the on-screen persona and the private lives of the actors. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes reveal the versatility and creative choices made during the production of The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. They offer a glimpse into the collaborative effort that shaped the series, showcasing unexpected moments that deviated from the norm, ultimately contributing to the show's enduring appeal. Throughout its run, George Burns had a recurring gag on the show, singing the song I'll Buy the Ring with the opening line, I'd love to call you Rose, dear, but roses fade away. Despite countless attempts, he never managed to finish the song. Interestingly, Burns later released a recording of this song on his album George Burns Sings. From 1948 to 1953, George Burns and his wife served as celebrity spokespersons for paper mate ballpoint pens, adding a unique dimension to their public image beyond the confines of the show. Before his comedic success, George Burns served in the U.S. Navy during World War II as a pilot. Later, he transferred to the Army and played a role in General George S. Patton's Third Army in Europe. This military background provides a fascinating context to Burns' later career in entertainment. 
These facets of George Burns' life, from his playful song routine to his role as a celebrity endorser and military service, showcase the diverse experiences that contributed to his multifaceted persona. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show not only entertained audiences with its timeless humor, but also reflected the varied facets of its lead, George Burns. George Burns and Gracie Allen had a surprising impact on popular culture that stretched beyond just television. In the 1986 movie Star Trek For the Voyage Home, two whales were humorously named George and Gracie, paying tribute to the famous comedy pair. This cinematic nod show would how the George Burns and Gracie Allen show continued to influence people even long after it first aired. One interesting thing George Burns did was to break character on TV, which was considered a big deal back then. He talked directly to the audience, a move known as breaking the fourth wall. Inspired by a play called Our Town, Burns used this approach early in his career, even in his first short film, Lamb Chops. This special connection with viewers made the show stand out and set a precedent for other entertainers. In a surprising twist, Gracie Allen had a say in choosing her characters on screen outfits. This personal touch made her sweet and naive character feel more real, showing how collaboration played a role in the show's success. Throughout the series, George Burns had a recurring funny moment with the song, I'll Buy the Ring, where he struggled to finish singing it. This running joke became a trademark of the show, highlighting Burns' comedic timing and ability to improvise. Interestingly, he later recorded the song on his album George Burns Sings, making this quirky aspect of the show last. Outside of entertainment, George Burns and Gracie Allen unexpectedly became celebrity promoters. From 1948 to 1953, they endorsed paper mate ballpoint pens, adding a different dimension to their public image beyond the sitcom. Before his comedy career, George Burns served in the U.S. Navy during World War II as a pilot. Later, he joined the Army and played a role in General Georges Patton's Third Army in Europe. This military background gave a unique context to Burns' later entertainment career, showing the varied experiences that shaped his persona. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show, beyond just making people laugh, became proof of the creative choices made during its production. From wardrobe decisions to recurring jokes, these behind-the-scenes details reveal the teamwork that made the show so appealing. Exploring the world of George Burns and Gracie Allen shows us not just a classic sitcom, but a reflection of the different aspects that define the duo's lives. In the world of entertainment, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show made a lasting mark going beyond just TV screens. The classic series had some interesting connections to Hollywood, George Burns, making appearances in several Oscar Best Picture nominees like I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang and The Ten Commandments, added a touch of grandeur. Larry Keating's takeover as Harry Morton brought a notable change to the character. Shifting from real estate to a health-conscious accountant, Keating's portrayal, focusing on health food and using big words, brought a new vibe to the show, showcasing the writer's adaptability. Despite significant set changes, the fictional Burns home at 312 Maple Drive remained a consistent anchor, subtly reflecting the real-life Burns estate at 720N Maple Drive. The show's charm also came from unexpected collaborations. In Season 1, Episode 15, Jack Benny's appearance broke the fourth wall, adding a unique flavor. Fred Clark, as Harry Morton, injected humor with his insatiable appetite, showing the series' commitment to diverse character dynamics. Beyond being sitcom icons, George Burns had interesting facets to his life. His recurring gag of singing, I'll Buy the Ring, became a trademark, with Burns later releasing a recording of the elusive song. This showcased his comedic timing beyond the show. The couple's influence reached beyond entertainment. In Star Trek For the Voyage Home, two whales were playfully named George and Gracie, honoring the impact of this classic duo. George Burns breaking character and addressing the audience set a precedent for future entertainers. As the duo endorsed paper mate ballpoint pens and George Burns' military background unfolded, we got glimpses into their diverse lives. These behind-the-scenes details highlighted not just a sitcom, but a reflection of the varied experiences shaping George Burns and Gracie Allen. The George Burns and Gracie Allen show, with its surprises, enduring humor, and connections to popular culture, stands as a journey through laughter, firmly etching its place in entertainment history.